Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our topic is about the uh, strength reduction factor. The strength reduction factor is used in every structure engineering design because we want to reduce this actual strength of any structure members. For example, if I am using the column with the strength of the 30 megapascal, so what we do, we multiply this 30 with the with the strength reduction factor is is recommended by the uh, is recommended by the American Concrete Institute. This strength reduction factor is usually represented by the small letter phi, and they have different values as uh, as shown by the ACI to use uh, for different type of the design conditions. For example, if we have the column, so for the column, it is recommended to use the strength reduction factor of 0.75. So we multiply this with the actual strength of the uh, concrete, so we will get the minimum strength of the uh, column in this case. So now this will be the design strength because we want to achieve the factor of safety. So factor of safety can only be achieved by reducing the actual strength on the site. Now we are assuming that the actual strength of the concrete column is 30 megapascal while when we are going to design this column we are taking 22.5 into consideration because we are getting the factor of safety and the strength reduction factor. This is the design philosophy that we should must reduce the uh, strength of any member by a reduction factor and we have to increase the load by a load combinations. So these are the design philosophy in the civil engineering. And it should must be remembered that we should provide the strength reduction factor for different type of the design conditions. Now I will show the different values of the strength reduction factors for different types of the design conditions. The first design condition is the tension control section. Tension control section. Tension control sections are those sections uh, which show the tensile uh, behavior. And the, uh, so the tension control section mainly have beams and slab because they show the tensile or friction behavior. So these are tension control sections. While designing the tension control sections, beam and slab, we should use the strength reduction factor of 0 0.90. We should must multiply this factor by reducing the actual strength of the beam and slab. In the second case, we have the compression control section. Compression control section. Now, in the compression control section, we have the column, we have the uh, footing, uh, these uh, column and footing are coming in this category, column and footing. But there are further uh, two classification in the compression control section. If we have spiral reinforcement, spiral reinforcement, used in the design, so we will use a, a strength reduction factor of 0.75. But when we are using the non-spiral reinforcement, it means the other type of the reinforcement. So what we do, we do the strength reduction five factor of 0 0.60. Now the third one is when we are using the shear and torsion control section shear and torsion design section. So we are taking the value of the, the strength reduction factor of 0.75. So we are mainly designing our structure members as the tensile control section or the compression control section or the shear and torsion control section. So while designing all these members we have specified the different values of the strength reduction factors is by the American Concrete Institutes. These were the values recommended by the American Concrete Institutes as well as the engine codes are, all, are also following these values to design the structure members. Either they may be the tension control section, compression control section or maybe the shear and torsion control section. But it should be kept in mind that we should must multiply these values while designing our structure members. So this was all about the today topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos, thank you for watching our video.